A dog. A dog. A dog, right, Andy? Hot dog? Right, Andy? Oh, man. I was worse than that time I throated that entire atomic breath dog from that 98 Godzilla sponsored San Francisco Giants game. What are you doing? Oh, I was, I was recalling a vivid memory. Can you not see it? When has anyone ever watched your memories with you? Well, there was this one time at the therapist's office. Oh, you were seeing a therapist. That, oh. Okay. <laughs> I gotcha! <sighs> yeah. No. No, you didn't. I just, I just picked yeah, I, I, I haven't. I didn't see a therapist. That's, yeah, that's why you didn't see it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. God, I'm surprised I could even see you. Well, I'm trying to keep myself busy. Yeah, I've been, I've been pretty busy too. Uh, smoking. Thought you were trying to quit. I was. It's a, it's a perfect day for a swim. It's not. It's all not ideal. No, it's like really cold and wet outside. Okay, okay, but I mean, okay, you know, but if you get no, used it's like to it, fifty degrees outside. Well, I mean, I mean, you know, think about it. The community pool, pool all to yourself. You don't even gotta poop in it. Poop in the pool. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like the perfect tool. And the arsenal of the every man. That that is so gross, man. There's shit in the pool, and you're not getting out. Okay, uh, of course I'm not, and you aren't either, because between you and me, it's not really poo. Chocolate ball. Okay, yeah, it's chocolate. You know, it's it's effective, and people are always say that uh, humanity is building things in the shape of peni and. <laughs> Vaginuses, but you know, they're skipping on the candy aisle. You know, perhaps there is some psychology behind the phrase, eat shit and die. <laughs> you know, it's not a to-do list, it's a command. You know, it's the third guarantee of life. Oh, so there's death, mm -hmm. taxes, and eating shit. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> oh, I possibly couldn't eat anymore. <laughs> I'm poop. This shit's stupid, man. <laughs> you know, you are what you eat, brother. Okay, okay. Back to this community pool. Mm -hmm. You're gonna use this tactic to get all to yourself. Okay, that's if I'm feeling a little strapped here. Okay, well, what about the lifeguard? Uh, I'm not worried about the lifeguard. Okay, well, he's not just gonna run away screaming like he saw a rat. Okay, well, then I'm just gonna have to, you know, become the brown bomber myself. Oh, you're, you're <laughs> gonna... I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shit in the pool. <laughs> Fecal warfare, baby. Uh -oh. Nobody's gonna ruin my day at the pool. Okay, well, if it's war, why stop at the community pools? You could have so much more. Dude, I could have so many pools. Public, yeah. private. Okay, I'm thinking bigger than that. Olympic? No, I mean bigger Lakes. than that. Okay, smaller than that. Don't get on the bad side of the park. The Rangers. seven seas. I'm talking artificial shit, man. Lazy rivers. Uh -huh. Water slides, yes. wave pools. Water parks. That's it. That's Do you it. think it'll work? Well, I think your fecal warfare tactics could be even more effective than you possibly could have imagined. Yeah. Imagine. Imagine. You're at the park. You leave a chocolate bar decoy at the bottom of the slide. All the parks evacuated. Uh -huh. It's the chaos. All of the lifeguards come up to investigate. But it all comes screaming down the slide. <laughs> Splats all over him, poop from your ass, <laughs> straight down the slide. I'd have a chlorinated kingdom with a full staff. Yeah, and hang on, you you wouldn't fire them to enjoy the splendors and isolated peace. No, I I can't clean. I need I need them to keep it clean and keep everything in order. Ah, oh, good point. And yep. And plus, plus, I wouldn't want to be by myself. You know, I'd have you right there next to me, all throughout. 
World War Poo. That's, that's funny. Uh, you don't want to be alone, but... I, I know, I know. Crazy of me, right? You know. Who would have who thunk it? I never thought I'd get to tell you this. Honestly. You don't have to, you know? I, I know it was selfish of me, you know? No, no. I've, I've spent countless nights... Don't do this! <laughs> night after night after night after night thinking. What would I say to the man who took my best friend away from me? And seeing you or some spectral version of you, I, I can't do it. I can't form the words. All my thoughts are swirling like a blender. The why? The how could you? The did you think for one second? It's maddening and loud. I've thought about this moment so much. I did everything but write a speech, Manny, because who writes a speech for a meeting with a dead person? They're dead, Manny. I never asked to see you lying lifeless in, in a pool of blood wearing your swim trunks. Perfect weather for swimming. You're not fucking funny! Yeah, oh, I never wanted to. Oh, it's not you, it's me. I, I, you we're just going in different directions. Oh, I can't believe this. Are you uncomfortable, Manny? Did you know your cat ate your tongue? Do you know how many tears your little cousin cried at your funeral? Did you know your parents are renting your grave plot? Yes! Yes! Yes, I know about all of it. I know my parents are one missed payment away from seeing their son's bloated corpse evicted. And I counted all 11,000 tears that day. And yeah, I'm uncomfortable. And I, I don't have a speech or any wise words from beyond the grave. Cat's got my tongue, Andy. I never wanted to see you again. I never wanted to see anyone. It wasn't about you or anyone. I just couldn't stand being me anymore. I just felt all the guilt and the self-hate and the worthlessness just blowed up into a zit. And I didn't want it. And since nobody could see it, there was no way for me to show them how putrid I fell inside. And so I had to come to terms with the fact that they would cry, but they would be okay. Because you didn't really need me. Shut the fuck up. I know what, I know what I need to say. Okay. I'm sorry. You, you don't have no. to. Listen. I miss you. I miss you so much, man. I'm grieving this crossroad I'm at every day. One way I stay mad at you and it just eats away at my memory of you for the rest of my life. And the other way, I have to accept. And then you'll actually be gone. Don't want to let go of you, but I, I can't corrupt you either. You want to know my opinion? don't care. You clearly do care. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is... Yeah? 
Yeah? Yeah! You know, I was gonna second guess myself, but... Yeah! You didn't say anything! Andy! I'm dead! You're alive! So just keep up the good work. You don't get it, man. Just live. You aren't at a crossroads. Because you have your whole life to dwell on these feelings. And I don't care if you hate me at the end of it. Just don't let it ruin your life. You know, friendships may, friend, friendships end for many reasons. And if you can't forgive me by the end of it, that's fine. Because you're the one who's still alive to have feelings about it. You're an asshole, man. <laughs> I know. In my defense, I kind of did stop emotionally developing when I went. <sighs> so, you think you're going straight to hell? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Not for any religious reasons. Oh. Oh, well, that's good. that's good. You know, I might have to come and visit sometime. Twenty six, twenty twenty six. What? Nah, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> That's cool. I'll see. I'll see you around, though. Feel like I'll be having conversations with a lot of different people for a long time. Unfinished business, huh? It's more like unfinished charity, you know. I'm doing this for your guys' benefits. Living are so damn emotional. All the time. I love you, man. Tell my friends when I love them. Maybe I should have gone out a bit more. You guys are still in town. I got too caught up in my own shit. How every outcome such come down. Excuse the penine. 